Why does no one care about Sean? Why does no one care about him? We did we did like a whole lengthy mission and, and rescued him. And we did a heist with him. And nobody cares that he died. A letter has arrived for you. Who the fuck left this letter? It's right there. It's there. It's right there. I could see it. <laughs> Why is the fast travel map underneath it? Can I read it? <laughs> it's right there. It's right there. <laughs> there! It let me! Oh my god! All I had to do was activate the fast travel. And then it gave it to me. What the fuck? My dear what? Arthur. <laughs> what? I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Great. Arthur. I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why are you venting to me? You change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment. Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint Denis. God damn it. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so, yours. Mary. Yours? First off, Mary, you suck. <laughs> like, you, you just fucking suck. Like, you're just, you're just the shitty person. But such is life, right? Because fucking everybody in this goddamn game is a shitty fucking person. I mean, one goddamn redeemable quality about half the people in this fucking game, except Charles and Lenny. The only two motherfuckers in this game that are actually decent people. Everybody else is a piece of shit. Every single other person. Sean was a unique case. He got a little bit ahead of himself. He was a, he was he was a gloating child, is what he was. He was he was a gloater. He was uh, full of himself. But I mean, he wasn't all that bad. Still, I mean, he's kind of a piece of shit, I guess. But like, I mean, <laughs> the double Mary missions now. Mary Beth, Mary, Mary Poop. God damn it. I could actually just fast travel over here and it would be easy to do this one. Let's do that. Mary, Mary, Mary. What could you possibly want out of me once again? My goodness. There she is. Arthur! Arthur! Who the fuck? Up here! You came! Yeah. Okay. What happened to my horse? So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Jumps off. The fuck is this? How awkward. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. <laughs> I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Then the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Wow. 
The Be only person Arthur yells me. at is his fucking ex. Please. Sorry. Oh, never mind. I am... I should have asked someone else. But... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. <sighs> it wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. Stop. You know that. Mm. Oh, Stop. Arthur. We were so very young. Stop. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I'll think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Yeah, I guess so. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. What? It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can what take some consolation is this? in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. What? Well, what? you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But, well, I don't know. I hate you so much. I hate your fucking character so much. You're just, this is actually appalling. So what do you think he's up to? The fuck? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace. A man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way, but it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. Wow. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is. This is the place. That was such a fast, like, fucking thing. Like, why'd they give him so much dialogue? Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. You could have did this on your own. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. Why did I need to be here? You can't stand there. What in the street? Yes, in the street. Boy, is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. <laughs> I'm a young lady. Smacked him in the face. A fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. His face. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind <laughs> to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired I and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. That's Still her as charming daddy. as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Oh, okay. God. Keep your di <laughs> well, I mean, this way, tail him. Oh no, I'll be spotted. He'll see me. I just casually walk behind him. He went around the corner. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> How is this even a tailing mission? 
Uh oh. Hold. Hey, stop a second. You're too close. I'm getting behind this. Jesus. Just follow the smell. Arthur, drop back a bit or he'll see you. He just went between those crates. I saw. What is this? Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? It's fucking awkward. Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear it's you. It's not. It's really you not. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Would he really go to do Don't something like mischievous? Considering just she just had an argument with him? Of course he is. He thinks he's in the clear, even though we're clearly walking behind him. Drug What's deal. he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. Hmm. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was it's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even his to sell. Oh, it's like just a Mr. brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You, you sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. <laughs> oh, God. He'll probably kill someone. I could, I mean, I could kill him. I mean. Hey, you yeah. bastard. Hold her right there. Why is he, like, instantly running? <laughs> Damn it. Coach. Well, I'll be. Get back here. I've got horse drugs. Don't make me. I can. I can get. A, I can. I you can, hear me? Stop the damn coach. I can catch up. Don't. God damn it. If my horse gets tired, I'm gonna have to fucking. No. You stop right now. All right. You know what? I'm fucking sick. Get out of there! 
beat his ass. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. Give it to me. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. No, no. A hundred? What do you that? take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm really I'm gonna a give a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Fifty dollars? Oh well, shit, man. Why didn't you just say that? Fifty dollars, motherfucker. Fifty dollars. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. Twenty-five dollars. That's my final offer. Twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five dollars. In the river wasn't matter. Here you go. Father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. You want to take a walk? I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. I uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. <laughs> hey. No. What are you doing now? Fuck this moment. Why'd you ask? Uh, well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Nope. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh, nope. No. Oh, Mary, I don't think that's a very good idea. Sure, I understand. You're still walking me to the trolley, though. Of course. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Get on the trolley My life and get the wasn't fuck out of here. Oh, is it too late for us, Arthur? God damn it. You don't stop. I can't lie to you. I want it, man, Mary. If I, if anyone close to me, well, they wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time, it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right I now. I fucking and don't told look you back. to get on the trolley and get the fuck out of my I life. Anything I want to, but I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. And get the fuck out of here. Don't but ask it's me. it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money. And I had some. Then some fool got it trapped into a town and I can't go back to you. It's another story. I'll write you. Don't. Please. No more letters. God damn it, Mary! <laughs> Don't do that dramatic look back thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. She sucks. <laughs> God damn it. Who's the other mission that just popped up now?
Dorkins? Who the fuck is that? All right, uh, let's see here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy a horse at the stable. And then I'm going to ride back home so I can fast travel to whatever the fastest city is going to be that's closest over here. Strawberry, I guess. I need to fast travel to Strawberry to go up to this to get stupid fucking horse. I need myself a new horse. Glad to have you back, partner. Oh my lord! Howdy, sir. Right here's your Arabian horse. It's right here. <laughs> wow. I guess I'll just use the one that I have for now. Yeah, we can get that. <laughs> Down we go, fast travel up the strawberry and up to the fucking lake, I guess, to get that bad boy. This is where we lost, uh, <clears throat> we lost a horse here. It was a sad day. What's up, man? Hey, we got a proposition for you. Oh, sure, I'll be. Fork over what you got. Oh, okay. Fine. Fine. No one make any dumb move. All right, Hello? all right. Horse. Hands up. This will be nice and fast. Oh, what do you got in here, huh? Guess you got more to what the hell? Why did he shoot me in the leg? He shot me in the leg. What an asshole. You guys didn't even get what you wanted and you shot me in the leg. Who the fuck is this? Who the fuck was that guy? Well, oh, thank you. Three bucks. Bro, what the fuck? Why is he moving so slow? Get in there. I just want to fast travel. <sighs> Strawberry. All the way up to Strawberry. <clears throat> God, I am gonna have to bring it all the way back down to like a stable somewhere. Help me! Help me! I've been kidnapped! Stay back! This here's official business. Okay. The fuck that part about this this horse and why this is so stupid is because half of the missions like rubber band you anyway to a certain speed. Like, they don't let you go super fast anyway, so just the fact that it's like, oh, this is the fastest horse in the game, it's not gonna fucking matter, because the missions are gonna limit my speed anyway when I have to fucking ride next to people. There's barely any moments when I can just free ride. It's always keeping me limited, regardless. What's the cow doing out here? What are you guys doing out here? Move, you fuck! Okay. Holy shit. Easy, oh. easy. Yeah. Oh boy. Looks like we got some fighting to do. Oh my god, oh my god. The fucking horse- Whoa! The horse ran over it and then fucking- What the hell? Hey, come back! What are you doing? The fuck you getting afraid of? You ran it over! You did- you- like, you did it! Like, I don't understand. Better calm the fuck down. I'm gonna replace you in a minute anyway, so. Did I go too far? Like, I mean, this is like really. 
That's really far. Whoa. Scaring nobody. I'm not looking for company or conversation, so you just stay back. Oh no, you don't! God damn it! Somebody help me! Oh, still, you don't fucking God understand. What you just me. fuck? You fucking cost me. You oh, piece of you, shit. Uh... Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Jesus, goddamn Christ! It just isn't your day, is it? You let me go right the hell now! Damn you to hell! I'll be back for you. Where the fuck did it go? You piece of shit. There's not even any tracks. <laughs> you motherfucker, dude. You motherfucker. Please don't. Damn you to hell. Please don't after you fucking you fucking made a threat to me. What the hell? Yeah. How cold do you think this is? Hmm? How cold do you think it is in here, huh? How cold? I think it's pretty cold. I mean, it's making me... It's pretty cold, I would say. Oh, wait. Maybe... Maybe even better over there. Oh, look at this. I wanna li look at that fucking moose. <laughs> this motherfucker. Oh, wait. I'll let the wolves eat you. Well, if this one ever... I don't know what it's actually doing. Like, what is it actually doing? Oop! Uh-oh. Oop. Uh oh. 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 Oof. Well, that's... Ooh, that's a shame. Can't believe that piece of shit. There's like no one up here, and then somebody just fucking ruins it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's fine. Thank you. <laughs> Your horse is critically injured. It fucking does. He's fucking stuck on this. What are you doing? That should help. <laughs> oh my goodness. What the hell? Now get over here. I can't take this fucking horse, dude. You're not even moving. Why? Why doesn't it move? Just go. Let's go. Okay then. Oh, fuck me. I thought that was it. You piece of shit. <laughs> Sold that ass, and I was like, man, that's it right there. And it was not to be. <gasps> there we go. Oh, 
was trying to study it first. What? I've spooked the horse. What did I do? I didn't. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. Ain't no thing. Shh. Stop. No, no. Stay here. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Whoa. Hey, wait, where are you going? Damn, this thing is like really scared really fast. Oh, fuck! Dude, please help me, God. Just in case. God damn it! What the fuck? How slow do I have to go for this fucking thing? Fuck. Just hit me. What just happened? The fuck even was that? Hey, girl. <laughs> now, settle down. You're okay. 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 You're okay. Calm down. Come here. Calm down. Nearly there. Calm down. There. Come on now. Oh shit, I'm getting tired. Whoa. <gasps> what the fuck? Ah, great. Oh my good lord. Easy now. Hey, whoa now. Hey, come back. Whoa, what? Whoa. Wait. No, no, wait. No, no, stay here. What the fuck is this, dude? Okay. Fuck you. I'm on it. Easy. Stop. 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 Oh, whoa. no. Oh, easy! Oh, or not. Jesus Christ! No! No! Stop! Of course, you better fucking calm down right easy. now. This is gonna be bad. I got you! Let's go! Go, 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 go! Easy there, easy. Holy shit. That was a saga. Oh my god. Is he going to stay to let me put my saddle on him? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if he will. Jesus. Fucking hell, man. That is ridiculous. Stick around, buddy. Don't run. I just need to get the saddle. You'll feel better with this off, boy. There you go. Now don't run off, please, because you have all my stuff on you now. Girl? 
This is now my main horse. Ooh we. Yeah. Thus the deed is done. Thank God. But look how dirty he is already, just from the journey. Just from falling on his ass. It's like super dirty. See all these drugs that I'm giving him? Making him shoot him fuck shoot him up with Come here. Fuck is this? Lord have mercy! Well that's just not right. I'm gonna have to put that animal down. Shit. Don't worry, son. I'll avenge you! Don't worry. Animal cruelty on oh shit. <laughs> oh, I'm gone already. Oh, yeah, fellas. to still be like come on now it's recorded yeah but I'm like I'm in a completely different fucking town by now like come on That crime, boys. Ha 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 ha! Got away with that crime. God, there's still so much more. Ah! Do these stable? Maybe this stable here has like uh, the same horse and stuff. The same stuff. Doesn't have the same stuff. Maybe it does. <laughs> It seemed like they had different stuff, so I don't want to like, assume, but get in there. Hello. How's that horse doing? I got oh, they have different ones. Stabling. Wait, what the fuck? Hold up. Our horse... Dude, this horse I is see you're looking for a horse. This horse is faster than my horse. This horse is one level faster. Ain't no one knows horses better than me. The only reason that this horse is like up there is because of my saddle upgrade. Good saddle will go a real long way. Trust me. You fucking kidding me, you guys? So the other the other one that I could have bought outright was like I think the same exact stats. This one also can't get any higher acceleration wise. It can get one higher speed wise. This horse can go all the way up to maximum. We got lots of horses to choose from. Has elite handling? The fuck does that mean? If I had trouble fucking handling a horse other than fucking running into walls? We'll find saddles here. <laughs> other than running into trees and walls. <sighs> you 
You guys, man. You can't have too much with you out in the wilderness. It's better to equip yourself and not need it than the other way around. Guess I should name him, huh? Oh dear me. <laughs> His name is Boy. Hey, <laughs> Me, Karen, shut the fuck up. Arthur coming in. Welcome. Arthur already in. <sighs> wow, what a mission. Okay, now we can finally do a fucking story mission. Hello. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? No. You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Whoa! Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Someone else got taken? What the fuck? Tell you on the way. Why does this keep get happening? Going. Wow. So glad I All went right. and got Head a new horse. Road. And quick. She's in the road? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't mm. think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. That was a long time ago. Who cares? She killed one of them for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Oh, get out of the way. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. Viscerate? Ho! Oh. You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Thank you. Anyway, <laughs> talking to folks disappearing. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Are you kidding me? Someone else is missing too? I think there's a guard. What the fuck, dude? Can anybody get a hold on these people? We're lost and in need some help. Oh, get out of here! Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know. That for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. 
Oh, now, you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by it. I said... It. You <laughs> said your last words. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. <laughs> I'm gonna take this shotgun. Thank you. Oh, are you gonna take the lead on this too? Okay. Just wanted to make sure, like, I mean, I don't really know who's, you know. Wait, the Arthur! Order. They probably heard us! No, they didn't. I'm just gonna break it. It's good. I'll sneak in. We're fine. Don't worry. Someone in there? It's kind of dark. Are you going in there or not? I'll have you shaking hands of St. Peter, you cur. What? You're a bastard! You're a dead man! Where the hell did he come from? Oh, what the hell you think you're doing? Hey, what the hell? What's your problem? You're Why'd you do that, mister? It's okay, mm -hmm. Miss Tilly. Now, mm -hmm. let's get you out of here. I thought there was... I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are! Come on! Tilly, grab that gun! Anyone oh, approach shit. it, shoot them! Oh, don't Tilly, worry, chase I'll be down. just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard! Uh, the one in front of the boat! Bring him back alive! I ain't done with him! Boy. All right, get after them! She's shooting from the back, what the fuck? There, straight ahead! I saw him go through those bushes! Yeah, I see him too. Why Where can't I aim my working? weapon? I can help, thank you. Like, I'll just take care of it myself. Oh, nice shot. They're heading down the hill to the nice water. Shot. Whoa, well, they are nice shot. Nice shot. Are you out of your mind, lady? All right, I think that last one's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to Tilly. <laughs> you want me to lasso him? Oh my goodness. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Oh my god, we're gonna torture this guy? You Don't guys let are him sick. get away! I'm trying, alright? Just chill. Come here! That's it. Now make sure you tie him up real good. Oh my god, the horse is gonna stomp on him. Uh, make these nice and tight. This all horse right. a Dalmatian? You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. Okay. I'll take Look at the horse. floor. So he won't be Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an E? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. Damn. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. <laughs> I want to get a good look at this monster. You're fucking sick. Here we go. Y'all really want to fuck? Okay, I mean, horse, you're gonna have to get out of the way of this, cause this is gonna be fucked up. So he's still alive then? Yeah. Ah. I guess. You see this girl? 
You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard off. You know my choice. All right. Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, look, it's like fighting against me to do it. Yeah, no, go for it. Just let him do it. Sadly, I agree with you. Oh! Sorry, partner. We can't take no chances with the likes of you. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So much for slitting the throat, huh? That didn't really work out too well. But, I mean... What do you have on him? What do you got, buddy? Two dollars? Very nice. Thank you. Dude, the other guy's laid out just like him. Oh, uh, there's another stranger here. Let's see what this stranger wants, and then I guess I'll head down to Hosea? Last story mission? Is Hosea there? Oh, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to trample over your body. That's disrespectful. Yeah, fat lot of good. That's Jettus. Well, we ain't dead yet. Oh. <laughs> You're leaving me, huh? Sure. Yeah, we'll leave this dead. Hello? You guys fighting? <laughs> what you fools up to? Is Mr. Black's fault? His fault to Darky White. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off of you. Come on. Whoa. And I'll tell you, you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. Even for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss! Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough! Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe Jesus. you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat? Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Jesus, I see a bank right there in front of me. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Uh, where is it? Which, which wanted posters are they? Just regular, like it's not marked or anything like that. Oh, hello. Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? <laughs> Bounty hunting. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking do this? Holy shit! This isn't good. Knock my fucking hat off, dude. You know I fucking had this hat on for memory of Sean, dude. You piece of shit.
Oh, forty dollars for each of them. Mmm. What if I just like brought them in instead? Five of them? How about the sh oh? There's one. Ain't as bad as you made out there. Bad. They worse than worse. You always was one for gossip. Jethro Minglethorpe. Gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies too. Three more to go. Well, howdy and welcome. Yeah, oh, what's this? Word in town. No cops. Welcome to Rhodes, friend. Just know this is an upstanding Hello. community, and I plan to keep it that way. Bounty right. hunter. Hello. My apologies. Sir. Wait, what the fuck? Is there one like? Oh God, there's one outside now. Watch your step. I'm looking for Gavin. He's my best friend. This fucking guy again, dude. He left me. Should I leave what I I mean, I lost him. Someone must have seen an Englishman. Whoop. Excuse me. Sorry, buddy. I'm not taking Get this any chances. Of me. Turn it into a bad day for you, mister. <laughs> the hell are you doing? I'm looking for my friend. Gavin. Hey! 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 So, what Sorry. Do you got? I just need that. Thanks. So help me God, you give that back. <laughs> so Gavin? help me God, you give that back. How's oh. this guy still on Has about this? Has anyone seen Gavin? He's fucking crazy. Oh, wait, wait there. Aha. I, I, I'm looking for my mate Gavin. Somebody help me. One more poster. One more. Where could it be? That's too much now. You need to see to your friend. Go, no, oh, Lord, help me. Dude. He just, he just accidentally shot this guy. Holy shit. He fucked him up. I think I looked throughout this, but. All right. It would make sense for it to be in here, but I didn't see it. There's a lot of people in here. Oh, there it is. Aha! Uh -huh. How do you do? Hello. Oh, there you are. Hey, friend. Hello. How was in town? Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have. But he died before I could, and secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Hmm. Capture well, them for their what? Bet. Don't just leave it there. You got him or what? We... It's fine, dude. You got it, guys. Ain't good. no business of mine. Here's the posters. There you go. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. Hosea. Hello. Hosea? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I mean, I look all right right now. I just bought some new clothes. I mean, what the, what do you, what? What? Why? I already got good clothes. I just bought, I just, I just, 
I just went out, Bubba. We are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. It could be fine. They didn't cut my hair. No, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> 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 Gentlemen, Ooh. Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Damn Luca here what? will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Why does Bill Bobby get to come gentlemen. for all these? Why does Bill always get to come for these? Uh, fuck off, Bill. This way, please, gentlemen. A senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. <laughs> That's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Dude, Bronte is a very good Look like fucking with the Tom man. Hanks and fucking evening, Castaway. <laughs> as long as the man behaves himself, you know. That <laughs> guy just Mr. fucking Bronte, washed up on shore. A thing, you know? uh, Some fucking hobo. Hey, I fucking Bill, love it. You join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. What is marked on my map right now? Oh, I guess I had something marked. My hair is so long. What the fuck are we doing here, pal? Ooh, you get the VIP! Cowboys, you've arrived! And you've washed! For the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. This is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is San Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Cigar like that too? One. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a confederate major in the war. I mean, hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? Yes, hand a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taking None taken. It's <laughs> got really weird. I want you to All kill this guy. Dude, hate me. <laughs> non vedo like, l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy, and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. 
But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> Just give me a fucking tip to go rob it. Okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Si. <laughs> <laughs> We're just as little bitch boys now. I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. This is Dutch's deal, dude. Look what's going on in there. Why did he do that? What was that? What was that? That's not suspicious? No? Hello? Hello? Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Santini. Ciao, ciao. It's not weird at all. Dutch doesn't fucking care, dude. We're gonna get screwed by this guy, and it's gonna be Dutch's fault again. It's just gonna be the same fucking routine every single time. Every chapter is the same fucking routine. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can, and stay out of trouble, and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out. Dude, he's gonna fucking... That's what you think, pal. Glass of champagne, sir? Why, yes! Give me some of that shit! Evening. Give me more! Ooh, baby, drink all of it. Come on, down that bad boy. God, I look like shit. My hair's a little disheveled, I'm sorry. I forgot to put in my, uh, my, my hair cream. Good evening, sir. You know? Alfred Lafonde. I'm just getting drunk in front of just drinking in front of this guy. <laughs> excuse you, buddy. Oh, excuse you. Excuse you. Excuse you. Excuse you. Excuse you. This is Mr. Hector Fellows. How was the show? I heard you went. Outrageous. These dancers. Well, I mean, if that's French culture for you. Just keep drinking this fucking champagne. Gentlemen, I hope you're having a fine evening. Hello. What? Emu, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. <laughs> I'm just still Mr. drinking in front of him. I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot <laughs> like entered you, this buddy, conversation. Would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man. This man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah, I would say you look too long. How do you do? The fuck? Get your hands off me. I'm drunk. Come on, sleep it off. Damn, dude, you got kicked out the fucking party. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. <laughs> Can I get another glass? I'm staring. Sorry, what is nothing it? to see here. What is all about? Nothing to see here. What right? is wrong Chill. with you? Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, fireworks! Oh, my oh, lord, it's beautiful. fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall, Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm not very this again. Sorry, sorry. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes, 
find out what. There's a Dutch's bitch, too. Hello, sir. Another tailing mission here. Is there some problem here? No problem. I just need something to drink. Look at that. Give me another glass. They all got the big glasses. Oh my goodness. I'm like a fucking hitman now. No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well That's secured. a really good Wait. hiding spot. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Turner. That was a good one, Arthur. Just stood up on stood up against the wall. Everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. I'm inside again. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. <laughs> Have you lost your mind? Oh. I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. <clears throat> Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Damn. That's fucked up. Holy shit, he booked it up there. It's that room! There's something with this room. I'm gonna keep it? What the heck? They're gonna know that that's gone. The fuck is Dutch? There you are. Doing nothing as per usual. <clears throat> Find anything? I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think... Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? There's plenty of money, Musu, here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. Big Ooh. bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave... That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station. Bank heist number two, boy! About, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. 
Oh, high society pigeon shit. If you All ask right, me, Dale. it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Another one of Dutch's famous ideas. I do love that. Oh, boy. <laughs> Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Stuff? Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. That's not exactly. my hat. Exactly. That's not my hat. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. That is not my hat. What the heck? This is not my hat. Get this fucking thing off of me.